Akwaibu Mat 30, we have done a good bit. We have tried with um, infrastructural development. We're doing great with raising infrastructure. But I also think that we need to also move a bit with raising human resource. So it is one thing to raise structures for industries. It's another thing to raise the people that would work in the industries. I believe that there's room for employment, there's room for character development, character development coming from governance to the people. How do we see the place of power? How do we see the place of authority? Does the winner take it all? Does it mean that because a particular party is leading a state, it means that um, the other party does not have a say, we cannot put our hands together for development? Do we have cultural bias? I think that Aquaibum State has done so much in, in 30 years, but there's room for lots of improvement, lots of improvement in employability, in child care, in health care, and even in road infrastructures. Recently we had to deal, we have, we've been looking at the flood going on in different parts of the world. We looked at Houston, we're looking at Makodi. I think that Aquaibum State is not very far from the same climate change that we're dealing with in other places. So these are the things I think that basically we need to look at so to raise a choir bomb to where we really would want it to be. But great strides so far. There's still a lot of work to be done. I think that uh, one of my key challenges with working with young people, being a youth myself, has been the challenge of entitlement. A huge number of the average youth in Aquaibon would think themselves to be entitled. I do not believe that anybody owes us anything. I believe that nobody owes you food, nobody owes you unemployment, nobody owes you health care. You are the ones that we are the ones that are going to be part of the policies to make this happen. I believe that the basic thing that we need that we need to hold the government accountable for are the policies that make this happen. So the question is this, you're asking for unemployment in a company. Are you credible? Are you employable? Are you, do you have the skill? We're moving into the 20, 21st century where we're not using the, just the skills of having, just having a BSc is not enough. Are you willing to learn the skill of your profession? What is the skill of your profession? Doctors are still trying to upgrade. Will the medical profession upgrade to the skill of the medical profession? We're seeing investigative medicine. Do we have doctors that can work on autopsies at that level? What is it that we're learning? Every youth wakes up and feels, the government needs to do this for me, the government needs to do that. But the, we have the World Wide Web. What is it that you're learning from the World Wide Web? I think it's a key time that young people stop running around elder statesmen. So we see 60 cars in a convoy and already that is a natural waste of resources. Now we have over 100 people running after that same convoy. 100 people that are working without a job description for 100 people that are also working without a job description. I think that is a total waste of human resource. What can we do as young people? Get a skill. Fishery, agriculture, um, fashion, hair making, wig making. There are so many things we can do as young people. Let us not sit back and expect anybody to do it for us. Not your parents, not your family, not the government not even fashion TV, just get a skill. I think that that is how we all can develop as young people and become relevant. At that point, they begin to see young people as relevant to policy making. So they are no longer making policies for us. We become a part, they make policies with us until we know our place. If you go to school and you come out and you're not able to read three lines of sentences, as we find in most of the places, so you write a sentence on the internet and nobody is able to even articulate what it is you're trying to communicate. How do you intend to sit at a policy table to ask for a reform? 
you can't do that. So it is necessary that we become a part of the policies we want to be enacted.